Hey YouTube, it's the Test Lead, and today's video is What is Catalan Studios and should you be using it? Catalan Studios is still considered a relatively new automation tool because it just came out in 2015. This video will discuss what is Catalan Studios, what are the pros and cons of using Catalan Studios, should you be using Catalan Studios, and what are the alternatives for using Catalan Studio. So first, what is Catalan Studio? As I said previously, Catalan Studios is a relatively new automation tool that companies are starting to use to test their APIs as well as their web, mobile, and desktop applications. As you can see, it's a very versatile tool. In regards to operating systems, Catalan works with Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. It can also be used to test Android as well as iOS applications. Catalan Studio offers a free version of their tool, but they also have a paid version starting at $49.99. With Catalan Studios, users can create testing projects with predefined templates, object repositories, test case libraries, and keywords. Catalan Studios can also be integrated with Jira, TestRail, as well as other third-party applications. Catalan also has other tools including Catalan Recorder, Catalan Test Ops, and Catalanium. Catalan Recorder. Catalan Recorder is an IDE to record web actions and capture web elements. It offers meaningful locators with just point and click. This is very helpful for testers who are not familiar with coding. So they basically just use the IDE to create recorded test scripts. Using their recorder reduces the efforts of trying to locate the elements and have more efficient scripts in general. Now, Catalan Test Ops. Catalan Test Ops is a solution to connect test management. This includes planning, execution, as well as quality analytics of test results. It provides a dashboard as well as reports to show how your product is doing and the quality of it. And finally, Catalanium. Catalanium is a framework that provides an outline for automation test projects. It is based off of Selenium, which I previously covered, and TestNG. It retains the core principles of Selenium and TestNG, as well as provides enhancements to improve Selenium grid. Next, what are the pros and cons of Catalan Studios? First, there's a free and paid option. So if you just want to test it out, you'll be found the free option. Next, as a user-friendly GUI, which is a graphical user interface that does be using a recorder for the non-technical testers. After that, probably the most biggest feature of it is its versatility. You can test APIs, as well as desktop applications, web applications, and mobile applications all in one tool. And then the whole Catalan suite, whereas Catalan Studio, Catalan Recorder, Catalan Test Ops, and Catalanium. So integrating our whole suite and one fluent system is a definite pro. Predefined templates to create tests, integration with CI and DevOps, workflow tools such as Jira and TestRail, it supports integration with collaboration tools such as Microsoft Teams, Git, and Slack. And finally, it supports integration with execution platforms, including Source Labs, Browser Stack, and Selenium Grid. Now for the cons, because nothing is perfect. So the first big con and the main con that may escape people from using it is the lack of programming languages that can use with it. Right now, the only language that it supports is Groovy. Groovy is the only scripting language that it supports. Groovy is in the Java family, so if you are familiar with Java, it shouldn't be that hard to pick up. But if you have no idea about Java and you're picking up Groovy for the first time coming from like C Sharp or C++, you might be a little lost at first. The next major con is, as I said previously, this is a very new tool. It came out in 2015. The user community is very new still. So a lot of questions that you might have might not have ever been asked yet. So you might be searching the internet for hours just to realize that there's no answer to your question yet. And finally, Catalan has a free option, but it's not open source. So because it's not open source, it has limited developers that can actually work on it. Should you be using it? So the answer for this is yes and no. You'll see why. As you can see, Catalan Studios is a very powerful tool that's very dynamic. It has a lot of versatility in it. With all the pros that I previously listed, it will meet mostly any tester's needs and requirements. Also, its integration with other platforms and third-party services is a major selling point for it. And most importantly, it has a free option, so you can try it with nothing to lose. So if you are a smaller team with a budget, you definitely should give it a try. However, because it's still a new tool, Larger teams that have tight deadlines might waste valuable resources trying to research problems with the tool. Also, because it only supports the scripting language Groovy, 
any non-Java based developers might have a challenging time picking it up. So any larger teams that are okay with the learning curve of learning Groovy, as well as may have to dedicate resources to dig into problems that you have using the tool, then they also should give Catalyne Studios a try. And to wrap it up, what are some alternative tools to Catalyne Studios? So the main competitors for Catalyne Studios are Selenium, Appium, Renerec Studio, and Test Complete. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want a video just like this, please take care. If you want to learn about other testing tools, please take care. If you want to see my newest video, please take care. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.